hello guys hello guys and welcome to the channel i'm hoping that all of you are doing good i'm hoping that you are great my name is nicholas and today we're gonna talk pissy dao yo the lion of judah the history maker and we're gonna talk about coach pito musimane also before you go much into the video don't forget to support me by liking this video subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell it really goes a long way to help this channel to grow i don't even know who to start with you know i'm very impressed with both uh you know but let me start with the congratulations we're gonna congratulate pito musimane tomorrow i'm thinking i'm sure but today congratulations to pesitao Yesterday, he won again a Champions League with El Ali. The best decision uh, Pesitao made, you know, to join El Ali. Because, wow. Wow. The only South African player with three champion leagues. Do you understand that? Do you understand what I mean? He has three Champions Leagues, guys. You know, and there's no one that has done that in South Africa. So that, for me, honestly... Is the best you know so i would love to congratulate him and i hope Uti, they're gonna keep doing what they're doing you know uh, La Panago El Ali, they're, they're not doing well in the league but they are dominating africa this is what you need to do guys you know to for you to be the best in africa you do it like this you keep winning the champions league this is the biggest continent um you know trophy this is the biggest competition in the continent so well done to pesimo zitao the lion of judah now i'm going to close it off with U coach pito musimani who also obviously worked closely with U, U Pesitao, obviously you know i think when when Tao went to to el ali i think it was coach pito ne that called him yeah i think so but let's continue guys tomorrow pito musimani will play a very important game i would love to congratulate him for winning his previous game he scored gamma last minute while winner two one 90 plus 4 minutes to win that game 2-1, you know, the winning goal. And tomorrow, he's playing the last game in the Serie Saudi Pro against Ial Hazem. As you can see, his, his team is number 15. He escaped uh, that relegation spot in the last game by winning. He has 32 points. So what does this mean? It effectively means that if Pizzo Misimane's side tomorrow wins, he would have completed what they asked of him to get them out of the relegation zone. So Iaba, Ksasa Zotelani Al Hazim, as you can see, Al Hazim is at the bottom, bottom of the lock. So I see Peter Musimani being victorious tomorrow and, you know, another mission again completed. Guys, Peter Musimani has been doing well. Let me remind you, um, he helped Al uh, Ali Sodi. You see now they're third on the lock. This team was not in the Saudi Pro last season. They were in another division, which is lower than this one. He helped them to get to this league. And now they've been doing well. They even beat Team I think they beat him 5-1 or something. You know. So Peter Simane is on a mission. He's a coach on a mission. And I don't know if his mission here is to just to help them get out of relegation zone. And then after that, the contract ends. I am not sure. I know that he has been linked with Kaiser Chiefs also. We will see what is going going to happen when the season ends you know after tomorrow but i'm very confident i'm very positive with Xasa, i'm gonna come back here and i'm gonna be congratulating coach pito for winning against al hazim and getting abba out of that relegation spot i'm telling you he's gonna win tomorrow so yeah well done to coach uh pito jiggles and oh pesitao a legend ah, he's doing well he's been doing well uh the best in terms of south african uh, is our african player so far come on come on give the credit to it's you oh